Hi uh, guys, hi. And uh, it's been a while. Then I haven't uh, worked on this because we, you know, I got involved with other stuff. So um, I'm gonna paint the heads, okay, and the cylinder housings. Um, I'm gonna put the aluminum tape like this type, okay because I'm gonna put them in the oven to warm her up so the paint it will uh, you know stick better on it I have a high heat paint I'm gonna show you a little bit later very good quality and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint them matte black and uh, probably I'm gonna send this out okay so we have the um, the coolings looking better all right, let's get started. All right, uh, so basically one thing that maybe you do, you, you won't see is the, uh, this grommet here, you see that? Uh, if you do it with the oven thing that I'm gonna do, it just is very easy. Very easy to remove them. You see that? Very easy. You can mix them, they look exactly the same. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna remove these from that one too because I, I haven't. And uh, it takes time to do the aluminum thing. But uh, you know, take your time with that. What I do is, I just put it inside here, then I just squeeze it with a screwdriver. See that? So this way, it would probably gonna stay there. But in the worst scenario, you you paint a little bit of that, just use a little bit, uh, you know, a mess wire or remove it and everything. But you definitely don't want paint on the, in, in any of this. Yeah, inserts. Um, aluminum paint, aluminum tape works really good. I hope. I haven't tried it before, but uh, you know, we're gonna see. This two, you don't have to mix, you don't have to worry if you mix them because they they're different and they have a different uh, number, okay. So you can go back to the manual and you can see which one is the front and which one is the rear. So it doesn't matter. But these two, you have to mark them. So I'm gonna put the tape inside that this is the rear and this is the front. I don't wanna mix them because I'm not gonna hone the cylinders. The I can see the cross marks, and the manual says if you can see the cross marks. You don't have to hold them, so I'm not going to hold them. Just going to change the springs and uh, do all the cleanup. All right, let's get going. All right, so we're getting there slowly. There is also a little rubber grommets here. This is it. So basically, I have marked the cylinder rear. I just put this uh, aluminum tape in there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's put this on the side, just in case, and continue. Hello, Ella. Okay, this is my helper. Hello. Hello, brother. Come this way. Come on. So I hope there's no more uh, rubber stuff there, I check, but, uh, you know, I will double check. <laughs> I 
and we got the uh, the new food for Crown, our German Shepherd. So I gave them a little bit. Looks like they like it. All right, let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna do a full inspection on these things here. I have to cut a little bit here. And uh, carefully, we are getting ready. Then, I'm gonna give her one light coat. This is the old spark plugs. Back in the oven. All right. So I have no idea what happened to it. But, uh, this one is still looking good. Alright, I'm not going to put too much paint on them. When I leave this here, I don't have to get any dust. Um, this two looking good. Uh, that aluminum tape, it just comes uh, out with your, just with your nails. But uh, you know, I'm gonna clean a little bit this surface here. If there's any paint. See, little bit here, little bit pieces. I'm gonna cover them. I don't want anything to go inside. But I just wanna take a look. Okay, this is the front. The F is still here. Good. Let's see the other side. Okay. 
Um, you know, I did the. Uh, I cleaned them up and I sent them with my just cans. You see previous video. I uh, didn't want to take them to sand blasting because uh, uh, I don't want to damage anything. I just, you know, power wash them and send them by hand. And uh, I'm going to send this one too. And I have paint. Through all these years, I have painted the 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 heads at least I don't know five ten times. I can't even remember on the bike, and it holds pretty good. So now with the oven, I'm sure it won't last for a long time. All right. Um, I don't see anything else here. I will do another inspection at a later time. guys I came out like that okay I think it's pretty good you know um, I think it's gonna hold because uh, you know I have sprayed this without the oven and uh, without heat it up and uh, just on the bike <laughs> through the years I don't know how many times so hopefully this time it's gonna you know hold better okay and uh, I'm gonna scrape this later on. So give it a little shiny. I'm gonna uh, polish them to give a little shiny look. Um, I use the um, the motif. Okay, in Europe goes for like uh, nine uh, euros, like ten dollars, something like that. Here's hardly. All right. So I'm very happy with that. It's fine. Okay, and um, again, I didn't send them out for sand blasting uh, because I didn't want to take the chance. The, the bike is quite old, and uh, I didn't want to take the chance to have any damage just for the paint. Okay, but uh, I'm very happy with the uh, with the paint job. Uh, also, I have marked the cylinder, the rear. You see here, I have put something inside because they're exactly the same. Uh, but I have marked it, so I, they will go on the right place. This is the rear, this is the front, so I know. This doesn't matter because they have a different part number. Okay, you see that? This is uh, the rear, this is 31, and this is the front, this is 27. Alright? Okay, so let's go to, little by little, the next step. Thanks for watching. Okay. So it's time to clean the, the coolings, all right? So just go like that, very careful. And I'm not doing details with this, I'm just going to do it with the, uh, with the air tool uh, downstairs. Okay, so basically um, I have three of them. This is almost uh, done, it's a little bit hard for the beginning. And uh, it works pretty good. So the paint is really hard to take off from here, so that means, you know, this is a very hard one. This is, uh, I think it's, uh, what is it, 180 grade, or, uh, so that means it sticks pretty good with the oven uh, thing. Okay, so little by little, I'm going to do them all. All right. Okay, uh, it's gonna go downstairs for detailing. I'm not gonna do more than the, with this. Okay, I'm gonna use the little detailing tool uh, with the air compressor. Okay. 
and uh, you know, of course, one version very important is for the paint to go all the way inside. You see, what well, else started looking good? All right, so I'm gonna finish this too, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.